Hello, Zero K fans! This is Shadow Fury 3 with the last of the Cuba Google Frog matches that I've been doing so far, which have not been going well for Cuba at all. I mean, we've gone from them both being even elo to now having a hundred elo spread, which, yeah, three games of Cuba experimentations were a little bit, well, interesting, if different, and certainly not what I'd expect having seen Cuba in the tournaments. But oh well. Getting on to Obsidian, which is a map that does actually support the sort of play that Cuba was trying for the last few games, but we'll see what they do on this one. And we have Cuba in the southwest corner of the map going for Clokybot Factory, while Google Frog in the northeast corner of the map going for Clokybot Factory. Fairly typical on this map, despite the size, it is very favored for Clokybots, mostly due to the hills here. All these hills and such, they are very steep. They don't work for vehicles, they work nicely for bots, and Clokies have the fastest raider of the bots, or pretty much. I think bandits aren't too much slower, but yeah, glaives are a bit cheaper, a bit faster, a bit faster to get out, so ultimately, they are the favored choice. Google Frog, however, going for only just one band, only one glaive before going to Conjure and expanding very quickly to the northwest, so Google Frog wants to quickly set up a framework of... Well, wait, I'm using the wrong terminology. But yeah, they want to quickly set their, up their territory Grab here and then expand back from there, probably. Well, another conjurer goes over to the southeast. So Google Frog being very aggressive on their expansion. However, not very aggressive militarily. While well, Cubay sending out five glaze before setting up their conjurer. So they are they are wanting to win quickly. Google Frog having not morphed the commander and not built any static defense at this point. They are in a bit of a tight spot right now. But that Conjurer is up, and another Glaive up as well. They're well aware of Cubay's impending assault, but... Not yet building anything up for it. Getting a Defender up in the back to make sure the Glaives can't go around the hill, because that is a common thing to do. Just go around this mountain and just deal with everything behind. Don't want that to happen. Google Frog will not want that to happen, and... Now I'm going to try to win by Micro. 2 on 1 here. Oh, no, never mind. 2 on 2 in the center, which Google Frog doesn't quite take on. We'll have to... Go around and I'm gonna try to get in on that one. There we go. Yeah. Well, anyway, it doesn't really seem to matter all that much because Google Frog and Cubay getting separated out by that. Cubay going around the side, going to see if Google Frog set up anything, and they have. We'll find the radar. The Conjure will be cloaked by then, but the radar, of course, not cloaked at all. So this radar is gonna die very quickly. And then Cubay likely to come around to figure out if... Well, having seen no metal extractors. Oh yeah, they're just exploring the metal extractor here. Not going for the radar, not going for the northwest yet. They are, however, also going for the southeast to make sure that nothing's been built there. And Google Frog having radar everywhere. Wow. Okay, so Google Frog knows about quite a lot of the map, while Cubay, on the other hand, entirely line of sight. Oops. Cubay is all line of sight right now. So really, at this point... Oh, some ticks as well. So Google Frog getting light defenses, very much relying on not having to fight more than anything. However, nice local advantage here. Does get rid of a Glaive for free. Another Glaive goes down, but nope. That's Google Frog and Cubay losing a Glaive. Still two for one at this point. Ow, ouch. Another one goes down for Google Frog and Cubay gets to get out of the way. Nice use of the hill and Cubay going straight for the main base. Assaulting with everything. One tick should stop all these glaives if they're positioned correctly for it. But at the moment, they are not, and that will mean Cubay will have an easy time through. Now, Cubay will probably be setting up from... Oh, still continuing to glaive. As is Google Frog. Glaive is just on the map. Given the size of the map, it's really hard to deploy much else until you get to the point where you have a very secure territory. And neither player does. Google Frog has been setting up the radar just to know what's going on. But... At this point, Cubay is actually a bit better set up economically. The southeast side of the map, better recon there. There's going to be some harassment coming in, but the defenders will stop the glaives coming in, and that is it. So Cubay is... Cubay is a bit ahead. Actually, quite a bit ahead. Got double the economy at this point. Google Frog has not yet set up anything over to the northwest and will be stopped, or at least has to be careful about this. Has to hide that conjurer because the glaive's about to see it, and they don't actually. Cuba does not see anything yet. They did see this radar. No, they didn't see the radar here. So at this point, Google Frog has not lost anything. 
But Cube way ahead. Google Frog has not built any economy. Just starting to build up their economic expansion in their main base, but not building anything beyond that. And Cube getting the southeast, ha they've pretty well taken the southeast. Google Frog's going to try to harass it, but it won't last long. The northwest, however, Google Frog can retake. They're going to lose this radar, but the northwest position should be taken by these glaives. Cube is going to escape from there, and the conjurer getting around the side sh will be. Oh, that's for future. We'll be able to go here. This this here is, I think, for a teleporter, ultimately. This is still a beta version of the map, but yeah, there's supposed to be teleporters here. Not yet, though. But eventually. Apparently. So anyway, Google Frog. Continuing with the glaze, as is Cube from the looks of it. So both are well, actually getting a conjurer for, Wait, what the heck? There's your Q. Yeah, getting quite a few conjurers, I think that Cube is just going to try to push for, not sure what, maybe just mask glaze at this point. It's going to say maybe sharpshooter or something, or fax switch completely. A fax switch at this point would not be a miss. In fact, a fax switch into Brawler would probably win the game. Google Frog, however, losing the southeast, like I said, this attack did nothing. There was no way it could really do much. Cube had too much in there, too many glaives, had the position advantage, pretty much. Google Frog still has a nice little outpost. But that's not going to do much. This this area is pretty well dead as soon as Cube starts to actually deal with it. And Google Frog, however, well, manages to connect it well enough. You know what? Maybe it's not so dead. Google Frog basically has this side of the map. Cube is going to try to invade, but Google Frog's got a nice little territory claim here. However, there's actually no territory here other than these two metal strategies and the two metal strategies up here. But still, Google Frog can pretty easily defend this. So yeah, maybe these aren't quite as dead as they looked. We'll see though, Google Frog switching over to sides, going for nice little covert ops into Cubase base. Probably gonna try to get rid of the caretakers, though I don't know if Google Frog knows what targets exist at the moment. Might just be for scouting at first. Possibly to get rid of everything over in the south center side of the map, but still, Cubase has 10 metal on Google Frog. I mean, that's an extra factory, that's, well, difference between half, well, double speed and two times speed on production, and Google Frog has been pushing production that much. And there we go, there, that invasion has gone away, so Cube ultimately losing those glaives. And Google Frog fairly secure on this side of the map, but not to the southeast. Southeast corner not really secure, though Cube doesn't have that either. It's still a contentious area, and Google Frog taking some soft control over it. While well, at the same time, Cube going along here, getting rid of this conjurer, and going to be attacking along the north side. Very powerful invasion there, but Cube did give it away. Google Frog onto Cube. Cube does have the position advantage being uphill, but still, it's going to be tricky. Cube is being very clever about how they position themselves, though. But looks like the Glaive is now going downhill, very quickly making the way down the hill and into the loving arms of Google Frog's death squads. Well, okay, that wasn't quite the right adjective, but yeah, you know what I mean. Cube's invasion, however, doesn't do much. Two glaives still around, but not for long. Defender does take care of them, and... Cube ultimately loses a bunch of glaives, gets rid of the tick, but loses 10 glaives for nothing. Kind of strength in the center, though. So the center's pretty strong for both players. Neither player can easily push through, but it is all defender, so... With a large enough army, they can be pushed through easily. It's not going to be continuous, it's just going to be... You know, the first, in this case, nine shots or so. Ultimately, pretty tenuous. Cube on the other hand, taking the northwest side. Hasn't managed to take out of the Conjurer though. Still looking for that, but not focusing on it at the moment. And Scythe is in at the south center of the map. Gonna be able to take out the metal extractors, or at least try. There are these defenders in the way that are being, well, very useful for Cube, that's for sure. Cube at the same time taking out the center or trying to take out the center will not be too successful. We'll take out a metal extractor though, which is good. But Google Frog hasn't really lost much territory. It's very, very slow push here. And Google Frog going for a flanking attack on the defenders, which is a terrible idea with Glaives. So I don't think Google Frog is actually going to go for that. But no, they are ultimately going to try to flank a couple of the defenders, which, like I said, is not the best idea. Because one defender will kill one Glaive with its. Actually, with two missiles. So not even the full volley. However, Cubase's commander was too far ahead and loses the commander. Cubase down a commander. Still way ahead in the economy. This is not the state of the game where loss of a commander makes a difference. 
I... It's, yeah, it's a small setback, but it is not much. So, QB now going around the side. I mean, QB has a mass... I, this is without their commander. They have twice the military cost. Like, twice the offensive cost without their commander. So, Google Frog still has their commander. And that's... What's the commander worth? 1,200? So, yeah, Google Frog has 1,000 medals. So, it's really five times the army cost for QB. QB is way ahead in this game. They have this entire south side. They've got the west, south, northwest as well. Google Frog has this. And no easy way to invade, try to break up territory here. No units that could really do that. There's nothing that could... Wait, wrong game. <laughs> well, okay, they can't break through Cuba's main force either. But they can't stop the incoming supply line. They can't easily stop the, the economy. Everything has been pretty well secured. There's no easy way for... This is the only area that Google Frog could even get a foothold on. Destroying this center west side of the map. That's it. But at this point, Cubate is bearing down on Ghoulfrog and is probably going to win with this assault. So Cubate has managed to get a good game going. They actually managed to get... Well, I shouldn't say a good game going. All the games were pretty interesting, but definitely one where there's more solid macro play. And Cubate does pull that off pretty well. And it's pulling it off quite well in this particular case. So yeah, Ghoulfrog has... Had a nice tick position, but even with that, this factory is going to go down. The Glaive is going to go down. Glaives and Zeus is continuing to stream in. The factory about to go down. Goofrog's commander going to go down shortly afterwards. And Goofrog does need their commander for their economy. And they've lost all their economy at this point. And Cube basically has the game. They might sweep along the northwest side of the map. There are some Glaives left. Like a dozen Glaives for Goofrog, but that's about it. All of Goofrog's economy going down. Google Frog's Glaze will basically go down as soon as they, they'll get rid of these metal extractors, but then they'll die. So there's not much more to be said about that. And QB realizing what's happening, sending a stream of Glaives over here. And a stream of Rockos as well. Just, wow, how many units? Okay, yeah, Google Frog, no chance whatsoever. I mean, Google Frog didn't have a chance anyway. There's one Conjurer. That's all Google Frog has to try to rebuild with. And QB is taking the territory. I mean, QB, QB's territory is this. And Google Frog's territory... Okay, maybe Google Frog's territory is this section a little bit, but not by much. The game is over. That's it. That's it. It's done. I mean, there we go. Google Frog acknowledging the end of the game, and we have... I finished QB finally managed to get in a game on Google Frog in this series that... Uh, replays, really. So... Yes, QB can, in fact, play this game. In case you were wondering from the last three games, this is not something that QB is too unfamiliar with. I mean, they were experimenting a bit, but yeah, they they actually have some ability to play this game. They they can win. So well done, QB, on this one, and well done, Google Frog, for the last three. And that is going to be it for me tonight. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed that, and have a good night, everyone.